the best sort of studies show us, and unfortunately they can't really give you a hard number of years, but they show you that by, firstly, by increasing your exercise by a very small amount, you can have a huge benefit. So if you're someone who's completely sedentary, you know, you've got a desk job, you sit on the sofa all day uh, or all evening, you know, watching the telly, you don't really move around very much. Even the first very small steps, you know, a 10 minute walk can substantially improve the, your potential uh, lifespan. So that's an, that's the sort of exciting thing on that end. And as you say, there is a, there does appear. It's very hard to really get the stats nailed down because you, it's hard to find sufficient people who exercise for like ninety minutes a day in order to get really really good statistics. Because those you know those people might be freaks in other ways, basically. Right. You're really exercising <laughs> for that long. But um, headline: If you're is, exercising ninety minutes a day, <laughs> Doctor Steele just called you a freak. But I got you. <laughs> <laughs> totally PC, yeah. Um, but it seems to be that after about thirty minutes of vigorous exercise a day, there's a plateau and maybe even a slight decrease in the length of time you're going to live Hmm. and it's really hard to like tease out the correlation and causation there as well because there are these fascinating studies that show that olympic athletes do tend to live a few years longer than other people so that you know might suggest that being super fit is really good but then you're wondering uh, is the reason are, are they living long because they're olympic athletes and because they've done all that training or are they able to take that like grueling training regime because they're super tough and actually if they hadn't been Olymp- olympians they'd have lived even longer and then there's some other really fascinating work looking at chess champions so grandmaster chess players and nobel prize winners and these aren't known for being particularly sort of athletic pursuits you know winning a nobel prize in some fair, you know some scientific field but those people seem to live a few years longer than their peers as well and so what that suggests is you know maybe simply being super fit isn't the only good thing about being an olympian you also get a lot of acclaim maybe you've got high social status and that has some influence on your lifespan so it's a real mystery as to you know what effect extreme levels of exercise have and i think for most of us that's really optimistic news it means that you know if you can get in a half hour brisk walk a day you're a long way to doing something about your lifespan if you know do a bit more high intensity exercise as well um you're basically laughing